Welcome back to the Marvel Movie Minute, a daily podcast in which we smash apart the films of the Marvel Cinematic Universe into one-minute chunks so we can analyze them in scrupulous detail. I'm Kyle Olson from the Road to Infinity podcast. Hey, and I'm Rob Cabosco. And, and hey, Kyle. Yes. Do you have things that you want to stay private? Oh, of course. You have private right. stuff. Exactly. This is, right. Yeah, that's what you, you encryption know what you do with is those? for. That's, you should encrypt them. Yes. Encrypting them, it makes them private. Right. Long, weird passwords. Have face ID, in, face fingerprint ID, ID whatever right. it is, retina, yeah. sta- retina yeah. scans. Sure. Do you, would you not change your password in like three or four years after a horrendous accident took place in the place of your work? I, I, I change my password frequently. Uh, I actually got upset because uh, I, I wanted to do an experiment. I got a Yahoo address. It, when it originally launched, their first Yahoo Mail addresses. Oh, yeah. It's really, really long, which they don't let you do anymore because I wanted to just see if I could. And I didn't change the password for 15 years. Ooh. I wanted to see how long it would take because it was a nothing. I mean, it's, right. it's the one I use for all my newsletters and things. I wanted to see how long I could keep it going. And then Yahoo got breached. And suddenly they forced password changes everywhere. But I had the same password for 15 years. But it was more than like five letters, right? Oh, it was way more than five letters. It was it was ridiculously long. Well, what are we talking about? Because what we've already learned in the We're previous minute is that security. You, don't, you don't need any of those things. You know why? Why? Because pizza can breach them all. <laughs> the power of pizza. Let's say we, we finished our three-part series on pizza, yeah. but the, the legacy continues on. Uh, because we saw the pizza not only got Bruce into this lab, but it got him access to the computer as to well. To a terminal. Right. That and he so is... what will we find in this terminal? We're going to find out here in minute 40 of 2008's Incredible Hulk movie directed by Louis Leterrier. And we pick up right where we last left off mm-hmm. with him. You find out that, oh, he got access to the terminal with pizza. Right. The first moment of this of this minute is Bruce with the smuggest look mm-hmm. on his face like, of like, like yeah. yeah, that's right. I knew that that Stanley's Pizza had power, and I, it got me all the way here. And I still know Betty's username, which is Doctor Elizabeth <laughs> Ross. <laughs> well, I made I I don't need to go over that again. If you want to hear my thoughts on usernames, you can go listen to minute. 39. Well, username was in minute thirty nine, but yeah. in minute forty, let's talk about passwords. There we go. Because as soon as she sits down, he, he types in five characters. Now hold on. Even in 2008, even minimal security, there's no way it would have had five characters. <laughs> of even, I mean, for goodness sakes, do you wanna, Google won't even let you do, do less speculate? than eight. Do you want to speculate what the password I was? I do. It's five characters. I have my thoughts. What do you think? What do you well, think that Dr. Elizabeth Ross's we have this, five, it, five letter five. password is? B R U C E. Exactly what I have in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce. It has, it has to be what the, the maybe what they a were capital U to be. Maybe a capital oh, yeah, right. U. B U. Yeah, right. But it's Bruce. <laughs> yeah. It must be. <laughs> Jeez. I think I think it's Hulk exclamation point. Or it's the whole. <laughs> it's green, but the the the, the E's are threes. Oh, oh for crying <laughs> out well, but, you can see my notes. Look at my notes. Was the whole first like five seconds of this is is yeah, I'm the pizza king. Also, <laughs> my ex girlfriend knows nothing about passwords because one, five yeah. letters, two, she hasn't changed it in three years. Yeah, I I need to talk to Culver University's IT department because they should oh, have a mandated change passwords every three months. I have a bit of a problem with this, but yeah. that's fine. I get it. Plot device. Yeah, device exactly. It's like, but it, even just fill the screen with asterisks. Like, why just five? Come on. And then he immediately slams into some product placement. <laughs> now, there's a reason for this, though. It's a pop-up ad. Well, it's a pop-up ad, <laughs> which is funny. Right. Are you going to make a Norton Norton joke? Well, I got a... Oh, no. Oh, you didn't but get that? Ed- I thought that's where you were going. Oh, yeah, no, that's It's really Edward good. Norton seeing Norton 360. Oh, what? Whoa, yeah. no. Uh- <laughs> No, wait. I'll see myself out. Okay. Yeah, that's not even, that didn't even go there. Well, no, because here's why I went, the reason why I kind of did the deep dive on this was, yeah. okay, so Norton, Norton by, made by a company called Semantic. Mm-hmm. I think they've recently merged with LifeLock or something. Yeah, I think there's like a whole, yeah, there's a whole stuff with that. I know they're not by themselves anymore. Now, for a lot of people, one, you know, public service announcement, don't open things you don't know where they're from. Sure. Don't, you know, protect yourself. But right. I don't think you have to go too crazy with a lot of this stuff. Sure. But back in 2007, when this was filmed, mm-hmm. this was still a really big deal. Internet oh, yeah. security was a huge thing. Mm-hmm. And Norton 360 was a brand new product. It was it was the first of the all-in-one security suites as the internet continued to explode and mm-hmm. things became a big deal. 
so it comes out in 2007. I think it was discontinued in 2014. So it lasted about seven years. But when this is being filmed, mm-hmm. yeah, this is a huge deal. Yeah. So clearly, yes, product placement because they wanted to make sure you knew oh, about this. Absolutely. But also, why is it running? Like is this is this a Windows computer? It, it looks like a Windows computer. I mean, I've, I think it's designed. It's a terminal. I wondered if it was see. Unix because I, that's it a, could be. But I think would it's Norton would have run on Unix. See, and I don't even get that. I don't think I so. Mean, like obviously, for the movie making side of it, everything we're seeing is mocked up. So I mean, like they were not going to have it be Mac or PC or anything. Like no, this is right. this is this is the MCU OS. Well, plus you're in a computer lab. And in this type of lab, yeah. I would expect them to have a good amount of Unix workstations. Yeah. And if you're using Unix, you're not running Norton through the next <laughs> No. <laughs> For the love of God. And no. I mean, because Norton, usually that would, it would kick off when it needed to do something, too. And so it's not like he's, he's not uploading documents. No. He's not you know, adding things on there. So Bruce has to do some web searching. This whole minute basically is like Bruce's computer proficiencies. So not only can he he you know commit a cyber crime by using someone else's credentials to log into a secure server on a public university, university university workstation yeah exactly uh, but then he starts uh, going and doing searches on her thing so obviously it's, it's like this is an interesting acting challenge because <laughs> as an actor you have to like, you're looking at a blank screen like he's seeing nothing that computer wasn't even on because yeah. they wouldn't want to have the light protecting well, plus they have on his two face. inputs as we right. talked about I mean, you can see night. from the light like you can like even there's nothing reflecting in his eyes like that screen is, that is a black oh, screen oh yeah you can tell and that and he had right. to be like I'm looking for something I didn't find the thing I'm looking for I'm disappointed by not finding the thing I'm looking for and you have to play all that stuff out yeah, right. as to, like there's a camera that's probably like 2 feet from your face right. and there's a black screen in front of you it's acting. acting. It's acting. Right. This right? is big time movie acting. Uh, so meanwhile, then then the graphics department uh, came up with this whole uh, elaborate thing of like they had to create the uh, Culver University Libraries and Academic Information Resources or Cooler <laughs> Research Database. <laughs> right. Research Database. <laughs> I always like saying re- research. Yeah. <laughs> So he looks for he's looking for information on it because he's trying to get the data. Yes. He needs the this data. This is what he needs. Remember, right. that's what we're trying to get that's to. The whole goal of this is Mr. Blue needs the data on the experiment so he can create the cure that will kill the Hulk. Yeah. And 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 you know and be, make Bruce normal again. So he's trying to get the data from that. So he looks up gamma pulse and a bunch of stuff goes through it searching 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 and nothing. Zero files found. No match found. No match found. And I love so, the way just from the design point of this, you got to love how it actually spends a second or so searching yeah. with and a green see bar. Stuff going through, like, yeah, searching. So you, say you, you did a screen grab here so we can see evaluating and aggregating data believability or coordination of supply chain networks or sparse recovery using sparse matrices. I mean, right? there's some nice, you know, gibberish computer talk that well, they put together. Maybe these are actually names of real projects of course you pulled from something yeah but they do it where it takes a few seconds and then a boom a pop-up comes up no match found in red so yeah. the searching is green very visual mm-hmm. red red bad green good right in right. this in this situation yeah if you actually plug this in and searched, how long would the search take <laughs> yeah maybe so a blink fast. yeah because it's yeah. text it's pure text you're not like oh. you're, not, you're not you know enhancing the matrix here i mean you're just basically going through you know find this word in all this list of words we have mentioned mentioned this before this is a, this is using a device to draw out yes. the anticipation and in bruce's case mostly it's anticipating failure uh-huh yeah because that's that seems to be the way things go so then he's like okay that didn't work uh let me look up me so he looks up oh i like this b wildcard Banner. Right. Anything. Yeah, anything. Like, it's just like anything with banner. Because, you know, he didn't want to just put banner in because if there were banner ads, those would have popped up too. Well, or, so did, you know, Bob Banner. Yeah, exactly. Bob Banner or, you know. Betty Banner, Betty banner in case know. there's another Betty. <laughs> <laughs> All the banners. Like, anybody with the first name B and Banner. Because, as you know, Stan Lee liked to have the same first letter for both of the characters because they're sure. easier to remember. Right. Uh, so he did B, wildcard banner, and still nothing. No match found. Not a single element of any of his research is still on the on the uh, Kularar. It's been erased. He's like, oh. So yet another failure. He's another dejected. setback. Another. And so then he logs into EncryptNet. Now, as someone who has to maintain a computer network... I think I would make sure that there was not an encrypted communication thing 
as a shortcut on the desktop of my community. Like, if you want to have an encrypted conversation, you do that on your own time. Like, I'm not, I'm not oh, hosting what about your, your encrypted secrets? conversation. What about your secrets of your university? And you need those things protected. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not my, no. As someone, as someone who has to maintain the network, uh, no. Like hey, I don't want your private conversations on my network. But my favorite part of this is, is that again, this is a design because okay, no, of course you're trying to show that the audience it. he's not installing anything. Like he has right. to get, he basically has to check in with Mister Blue here, so they just have it. But it's just like the idea that there's like an encrypted thing as a desktop on there. Like next to all you see the temp folders, and next to that is EncryptNet. Well, I. I I love the fact that it's called EncryptNet. Yeah, it's like obviously if he had logged onto a website that had this on there and done it, but like yeah, no, no, it's just is, built into no, the system. No, we just have that. Yeah, Does it's, it's part of the MCU OS. Oh my god! So yeah, he gets his back to his encrypted conversation, and we see the same. Which is funny, is clearly it's, you it's know, exactly the same program. It's the exact same program yeah. that we saw him using when he was in Brazil. Yep, yep. So he calls Mister Blue. Uh, and then Mr. Blue is very excited to hear from him. Mr. Green, how goes the search? And Bruce has to say, the data is gone. Oh, I'm gonna... oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, maybe there's something he can do. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there's something Mr. Like, Blue can do oh, something. Oh, by the way, the one thing you needed from me that I traveled all this way, that, it's been, that I've traveled... Uh, uh, barefoot walking through uh, multiple countries yes. for the last 16 days, 17 at this point. Uh, I, yeah, I, I didn't get it. So uh, what's plan B, Mr. Blue? Uh, he says, the data is gone. Without it, I cannot help. So the, the way he responds to this is, I mean, it's it's so, I know, he's, so Mr. nice Mr. Blue is the very heart. dramatic. Without with his it, emojis dot, and dot, his, dot. Right. Next line. I cannot help. <laughs> right. It's like, no, can't help you. It's like. Uh, and Bruce like goes, oh, I knew you were going to say that. Why did I even initiate this encrypt net conversation? I knew what you were going to tell me. And that's where the minute ends. <laughs> Another dejected no! Bruce. Yes. And not even the power of pizza can save him this time. <laughs> Maybe he needs to go back to the Theta house and just get angry. <laughs> and just knock the place down. Oh, That'll make him feel ladies. better. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Oh, all right. But meanwhile, let's check in with what's going on in the rest of the MCU. I can't so, wait. So, uh, this is now, it's, so it is June 1st, 2010, as he's looking through this. We This is the same one as we had before. Um, this, uh, let's see, uh, Nick Fury has sent Clint Barton to New Mexico to assist Phil Coulson with a strange thing that's going on there because someone has found a hammer a in the hammer? middle. A hammer in the middle of a a a, 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 a crater. A crater. Yes, I'm trying to remember what the official term for that was, but yes, yeah, basically in the middle of a crater, so it's gone there, and so we know that already there. So at this point, Thor has already been sent to Earth by Odin. Like cast out, I believe he was he was cast out the day before. But of course, Asgardian time doesn't work the same thing. So yeah, technically on the thirty first, he was like, "You're not worthy." You're not. You know, Anthony Hopkins is the big thing right. and, and and throws him down. Uh, so we have uh, yeah, so we have them setting a shield as now moving at the same this morning, and Clint Barton and and uh, Agent Coulson are setting up a perimeter there, like trying to cordon it off and get things out there. Uh, Loki is has discovering that he is uh, the son of Laufey, the king of the Frost Giants. Um, he he uh, confronts his father, and Odin falls into Odin sleep. Tony Stark is is this is after the, the day after the Battle Stark Expo, so he's updating his design log and uh, he and and uh, with his information on uh, fighting with Rhodes and, and what happened with Whiplash. So he's recovering from that. He's already had his big kiss on top of the building with Pepper Potts. I think that's it for the rest of the day because we have more day coming on there. But it's already been an exciting day in the MCU. Let me say something. If this were real. Mm -hmm. Right. You're somebody who works uh, in the NSA sure. or the inner inner ring of the not Pentagon. Not shield. You're not shield. Just a government. Just you're just you're just you're working in an administrative position here. The inner the inner ring of the Pentagon. Whatever. Sure. You see all this going on. Mm -hmm. I'd get a little I would be like, <laughs> how are we going to do? What are we going to do here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we, we just come off of two government contractors who create weapons. Hey, the Stark Expo incident where uh -huh. a whole bunch of drones went yeah. rogue with our, with and our logos, shot up a whole With place. our logos plastered right? over the side of them, you know, the, you know these, uh, <laughs> these military army in USA and, and Air there's Force a, logos there's killing a people. There's a magic alien hammer uh -huh. sitting in the middle of the <laughs> desert. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Yeah. 
something's about to get let loose on a Virginia college campus. That's right. <laughs> What are we doing it's, here? I know, it's, it's like, this, is a, this is what they call uh, Fury's Big Week. There's a lot of stuff happening in this yes. time. Yes. Yeah. You got to, you know, there's almost, it almost makes me want to, when you come, like, when you think about this, and I love the whole meanwhile yeah, segment, right? Yeah, so this is, this is information from Marvel Cinematic Universe.fandom.com. They have an amazing timeline. That's Way where I'm to pulling go. this from. Uh, it really makes you wonder, like, okay, again, what, what's the story you could tell? It would be really mm-hmm. funny to do a story about, like, a family who's living during these times mm-hmm. like and just like hey so what, what happened at school today well we you know, we talked about the <laughs> the stark expo incident you know uh-huh. and like and we talked about all of it like what <laughs> you would just come home and you'd be like nobody's leaving the house yeah we're staying home today <laughs> and like yeah and, and uh is anybody talking about what happened in the the late 90s when the the bunch of alien ships came up and then some flying ladies sent them away like anybody no what are we doing yeah <laughs> do we not have any uh telescope images of that that uh, people are still you know, like debating on the conspiracy websites no there were like four alien ships out there and she flew through them it was amazing well right now i just feel bad i feel bad for our friend bruce mm-hmm. bruce is not doing not not uh getting any success the dad His is gone on i cannot help he's gonna deliver pizzas now yeah that's his life now is basically pizza delivery wow i know but maybe things will turn around in minute 41 you know Maybe we should. You know what might be fun? What? There might be a, a shirt in the future okay. of the Marvel Movie Minute that's pizza themed. Oh. I think we should think about that. Okay. I think there might be some way to make that happen. Okay. If you if we had one of those, where sure. would you? Would there be a place for you to go get one? There of those? actually would be because the uh, the next reel has its own set of merchandise. You can go to the nextreel dot com slash merch. And you can find all kinds of things like that. That has Marvel Movie Minute stuff. It has Next Real stuff. Or we got our logo. We'll plaster it on anything we can find. By Maybe. the time you head there now, there may be some really weird things there. There really could be if we have our way. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, boy. Hulk Pizza and Hulk Stash. Help us out with everything that you get, everything mm-hmm. you buy there. Yep. Not only are you a fan of the show and a friend of the show, mm-hmm. you obviously help us. And yep, help. a couple pesos come back to us and help keep the show running. Much appreciated. Yeah. So, I uh, hope, thank you all for listening. We'll see you back here for minute 41. Hope you had a smashing good time. Until next time, true believers. Bye. Bye.